Brass usually does pretty well when he comes out here. Uh, he could stick it with the best of them. But this is a plain old hard match. Lands on a fireball. Does not anti air. It gets scooped. Oh, great. That was looked like an option select, but I'm not sure. Oh, he's just doing it. Okay. Yeah, that's always solid. Especially if you, the person is playing kind of on tilt from the get go, just hit him with whatever you can. Brass is playing a pretty slow reactionary game. He's waiting until he sees a button and he's trying to chop it. Or maybe buffer a, a jab or a light in EX. Pom him. Moose Jr. is doing way better keeping him out this time. Oh wow, that was risky, but he lived. Brass is sort of getting the feeling they can jump a ton too, which is never good. He's got him cornered. Finally gets a strong anti-air. How's it going, Pavo? He gets Bob Hey, pretty good. Oh, we got Brass versus Moose Jr. I'm not familiar with Moose Jr. Brass just kind of getting in there with that cross up. Ugh. Hit confirm. Was that a that was not a red focus? That was just a yeah. That was a combo to kill. He confirmed that the last hit didn't, and then I'm 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 taking it that was the first game. Yeah, that was the first game. You know, on the first round it was kind of bad for Moose Jr. The second round he kept him out the entire time until the very end of the match. Right where he clutched it out. Yeah. Uh, Moose Jr. looking like he's trying to play the footsie game here. Brass is representing that stand strong and option selecting with the e with a regular green hand. Yeah, he's hit that like probably like four times already. Mm, Would have liked to see an anti air there from Moose Jr. I don't know if he's not sure about the spacing, kind of afraid to get SPD'd on the way down. He's been a little iffy so far. He's hit like a few good ones, but then he's also dropped a few necessary ones. Representing so. that stand roundhouse. Oh, Brass getting that hit confirm, pushing him into the corner. Oh, oh getting that nasty SPD there. And he could have anti aired too, that was a thing. Like, he had a lot of options there. Okay, he could turn around right here. It really just depends because, I mean, honestly, one no, hit. The biggest thing is he has super, so uh, any single hit. I feel like if he he's like really fishing, yeah. Aww. See, he was fishing for the for the soul spiral to, oh, to super. Yeah, he didn't need kind that. Kind of missed space though. It was super risky to go for it. Yeah, when if, you have like if he can he can SPD that right on block. Um, well, it depends on, the on which one you do because uh. each button for soul spiral has different uh different plus minus. Brass being, playing a very convincing game right here. Keeping his opponent, Miss Jr., in the corner and getting right through that fireball predicted with the EX green hand. It's not over yet, though. Look like at anything. I mean, he's got a full super. He's got ultra, which he just popped. Uh, one hit could really kind of turn it around, as you were saying earlier. Or he could just get a ton of shit. Oh. Uh, oh that would have been the combo. super combo, yeah. No, I wouldn't use super there. It's too early. Well, you have no comeback potential if you use it right there. Oh, bopped. getting bopped again with the EX green hand there. Yeah, it was a lot of like, this is working out pretty good uh -huh. into this isn't working out anymore yeah. at all. It seemed like he's he has a general idea of how to keep Geef out, but then Eric could have just made the right read to really put him in the corner and just beat him up.